A couple days ago, I did a quick video showing how to add health bars to just about any game. And I mentioned in there that you can also extend it and make it do other things if you wanted mana bars or other types of character info. And I wanted to do a quick follow up showing what I meant by that. Here you can see I've got two characters with different names. This one's Denise, named after my wife. And then we've got Healy because I needed a healer. They can run around and kill each other and cast spells and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to show the bars up here and the health part because that's the thing that I think is interesting. This is something that you can use to extend out and put just about any kind of info that you want onto your game, like I said. So let's go into the editor. And if I switch over here to the scene view, you can see that I've got my two health bars for Healy and Denise showing up in my screen space. Again, they're using the screen space overlay and I've got this health bar canvas. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment because this needs to change. It shouldn't be a health bar canvas because now it's been updated. The health bar object underneath it, if you take a look at it, has a foreground. Let's go find the other ones, the ones that aren't for the NPC. There we go. Has a foreground with the fill amount for my health percent, but then I've also added a nameplate and a name text. And this is what I meant by you can extend and expand this thing out. The health bar canvas is responsible for positioning everything. Let's go see the code one more time. I guess if you didn't see the health bar video, though this might be just the first time. Anyway, here it is. We've got a health bar canvas that instantiates a prefab that we should rename, a list of tuples of health bars, a list of health bars to remove, just so I can do clean up when a health bar's object or target has died or disappeared. And then in the update, we set the screen position using the camera main world point to screen, and then the object's position, that's our target or the character here that we've added through the health bar, add health bar method right here. And then we offset it by, what is it, 1.5 meters. And then finally set the position in screen space of the UI element, which is the health bar. So this is our UI element, the health bar, and that's the character. Now, it's not really a health bar anymore, though, because we're doing a lot more with it. Let's go take a look at what our health bar actually does. Our health bar now has a health bar image on it. It has a name text on it, and it still has a bind method and then just binds to a character. And the bind method, I've just added a name text set text. It sets the value of the nameplate so that we can put our name up there. Now, what would we do with this going forward? We'll just add in extra things like mana bars, uh, current state of things, if you anything that you will want to have over the character's head. Common thing would be like stun effects or other character state effect type things. Um, sometimes you might want to show the recent damage logs. You might want to show some floating text there and that can all be part of this one component. And in that case, we just replace the health bar with something like nameplate. So just do a control R, control R, change this to, let's call it character nameplate. No, let's just call it nameplate. Keep it nice and simple. It's always good to have nice, short, simple names in my opinion. If you agree, then please uh, comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the nice short names. And if you disagree and you like really long descriptive names, um, so we can argue in the comments. I think that'd be interesting. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. I just wanted to briefly show how you can use this stuff to build out a, a bigger system that kind of can do different things. In this case, I wouldn't add in a new health bar or multiple health bars. Just build that one out to be sufficient to do the different types of things that you want and rename it from health bar to nameplate or character nameplate or something that that matches with uh, your naming scheme. I think nameplate fits really well for me. That's my recommendation. Um, don't, don't add a ton of objects, modify your objects refactor things and clean them up. In fact, let's uh let's rename these right now. We'll call this a uh, underscore name plates. And um, if you're interested in this stuff, make sure that you check out the multiplayer mastery course. This is all um, part of it, or this is kind of an, an early part of it. I see some of these uh, abilities and stuff in here. So this nameplate prefab, actually, now that I think about it, this shouldn't be coming from here. This should be coming from our prefab manager. So we'll cut that out. Um, I'll do that afterwards, so that doesn't have to be part of this. And we'll rename this to nameplate. Anyway, if you're interested in the multiplayer stuff, make sure that you check out the multiplayer course. If you're not interested in that, just let me know what kind of stuff you are interested in in the comments. I'm going to keep doing tons and tons of videos, answering questions, and showing anything that I think is useful useful for every game developer out there. All right, thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.